everyone, my name is Luminitsa and today we're going to talk about alpha women. Alpha female are the most discussed type of women on the internet. Yeah, they still say one of the most mysterious types because they're strong yet a little bit distant. They smile and they're very sociable yet you can still see that they have something on their mind that nobody has access to. That's why today we're going to answer the question, who is this alpha female? Is there a one true alpha female? Is the alpha female always alpha where she can change her positions? And more specifically, we're going to discuss what is the alpha female at work, in their relationships, or in romantic relationships, and in the society and see the difference between them. This video is part of the female group role series, so if you missed the first episode, go and check it out here. And let's get started with the most powerful female type. When it comes to work or career, alpha female are really the boss. They love decision making and they are brilliant managers when it comes to people and tasks. They are goal-oriented and they are very determined to reach them. Because of her strong nature, alpha female aims high. So she wants to be on the top of the corporate ladder or the hierarchy, meaning she wants to be the SEO, SFO, and so on. And because these positions sometimes are dominated by men, a true alpha female at work is not intimidated by them. She sees men equal as, her, equal as her and she will never feel less worth than them. She works hard, she has the power, she has the energy, and she sees no reason why wouldn't she be the SEO of a big corporation. Also because of her strong and highlighted goal orientation, she might be very dominant, meaning that she might not care how she gets to the goal. She might not care if people work extra hours, if someone is tired. She sees the goal in front of her and she just goes to it. And because she might be less emotional than the standard female, sometimes people might look at her as a very mean boss or call her a bitch. Career alpha females see the work as a battlefield, so they will really fight for their values and goals. And there are some prominent examples that can illustrate you how a true career alpha female is. For example, Margaret Thatcher, Angela Merkel, or Miranda Priestley in The Devil Wears Prada. These women are symbols of power, and everyone either loves them or hates them, but definitely respects or even is afraid of them. When it comes to love and romantic relationships, emotional alpha female will be very direct. So they will not beat around the bush and they will tell you exactly what they want, what they need and what they expect. So if they want to go on a holiday with you, they will not try to give you some subtle signs. They will tell you word by word, I want us to spend the holidays together. Or they, if they want a present, for example, a watch, they will either buy that themselves or they will tell you, I want this watch. Also, like in the career, alpha females have very high expectations in a relationship from themselves, meaning they want to be the best version possible, the best wife, the best girlfriend, the best lover, the best housekeeper. And because they want to be, and they actually work on that, to be the best of the best, they expect you as a partner to be the best of the best as well. So if an alpha female really works on that to be the best girlfriend, but she sees that you don't really work on that to be the best boyfriend or the best husband, they will get disappointed and they will just leave you. Because alpha female don't have and they don't want to have time to develop you. So if you don't work as hard as she does on developing yourself and being the best version of yourself in this relationship, then why? Because of her endless source of power, emotional alpha female or alpha women in the relationship can go into two extremes. They're either very unavailable, emotionless, 
calculated so she will not look at you like a romantic object but more of a good DNA for the children or good financial support. She wants to be with you because you kind of are good for her checklist. You are a good potential husband, you are a good potential father, you can help her to succeed in her career and so on. In this scenario, in the stage of flirting, as I said before, they're very direct and they're very calculated. So they will really go through your whole Facebook page and Google you before accepting to go on a date with you because she needs to know, are you worth her time or not? And if she indeed decided that you are worth it, at the date, maybe at the first or the second date, she will tell you what she needs that she wants to be in a relationship, that she needs just sex, and so on. So very straightforward. On the other extreme, or in the second scenario, alpha females can be very controlling and dominant. So they need to know where you go, with whom you go, when you will be back. She might pick you up from where you are, or might even stalk you or ask a detective to look if you are doing something wrong. She needs to have the control over situation. She will not let you betray her. She doesn't like surprises. So she will really take this situation in her or this relationship in her hands. So if you are with her, you are with her. Full stop. If you search for the alpha female in this society, you will definitely find her in the center of the attention or literally in the middle of the group. As I mentioned in my previous video, alpha female control their group or the environment, meaning that they set up the rules, they give rules, they tell everyone what to do and where to go. She decides how they spend the time and what they will eat for dinner. And a great example for that can be Regina George or Regina George in Mean Girls. She said who is allowed to date whom, or she said that on Wednesdays they should wear pink. In the society, alpha female are not just strong, but also very intellectual and smart. So they have a huge network. They know every single person that they need to know, and everyone around knows her. She is a very strong voice on the online platforms. And comparing to other just popular people, alpha female on social media has a very, very loyal followers base. Meaning if someone says something bad about her, her followers, same as her soldiers, will really attack and destroy the person that somehow thought to be mean to their queen. Now you might ask, who can be this superwoman that is successful in everything? A great CEO, a good girlfriend, an amazing influencer, and generally the perfect person in the society. And the answer is no one. According to many psychological and sociological studies, nobody is just alpha or just better meaning that you can be a very strong and preeminent alpha at work, but be a beta at home and omega in the society, or be very straightforward in your relationships, yet not be so goal-oriented at work, and so on. Coming back to my initial question, who is this alpha female? My question now is, where? A true career alpha female is a very good and strong manager. She wants to be in the highest positions in the corporate ladder and she is not intimidated by anyone else. The love or romantic alpha female sets very high standards for her and her partner, yet really works on this relationship. And the social alpha female is the one that is in the center of the attention and controls her environment. As you might have noticed, all these three positions are very strong. So it is kind of impossible to be an alpha female everywhere. 
at work, in the relationship and in the society at the same time. So usually if you are a very strong alpha female at work, you might not have time and energy for a strong and healthy relationship. Or if you are very popular online, you might not be so popular again offline or in the relationship. Write me down in the comment section below which type are you. As for me, I think I'm an alpha female at work, but I'm definitely not an alpha female in the romantic relationships. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click on the bell button to always get notified when I post something new. Click here and here for more communication content, here to become part of my growing community. Remember that communication builds connections and miscommunication builds a mess. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!